Today we'll be swapping out the original X stepper motor with a 0 0.9 degree stepper. So we should be getting, you know, around twice the resolution on the X axis. The tools we'll need will be a 2 millimeter uh, hex and a 1.5 millimeter hex. In the middle, you can see another 2 millimeter hex. This is going to be used to get into tighter spaces. I would recommend using ball and drivers because uh, some of the spaces that we're going to need to get into are going to be pretty tight and the ball end can work at an angle. There are four screws we're going to have to remove to take out the stepper motor, two in the front and two in the back. The two in the front, we're going to have to use the smaller hex driver, two millimeter hex driver uh, to remove just because it's pretty tight space. If we're not able to get to those screws we're going to have to take this whole bracket off which is a little more involved so the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and disconnect the x-axis stepper next we're going to loosen the two set screws on the gear for the stepper driver this is a 1.5 millimeter screw uh, and there's two of them on this gear so go ahead and loosen them up now with our two millimeter hex we'll go ahead and remove the four screws holding the stepper driver into the bracket the two in the back you can use a regular driver and the two on the front you're going to need a, uh, a shorter hex that I showed earlier just to get it um, in that tight space. With all the screws removed, go ahead and pop out the stepper. So I went ahead and ordered a 0 0.9 degree stepper from Stepper Online. I got it through Amazon. I'll go ahead and post that link down below in case you wanted to buy the same one. This is just uh, the included information for that stepper in case you were curious on the specs for it. And you can see the model number there for it. So looking at the new stepper, uh, it looks almost identical to the original one. It's a little bit shorter, but other than that, it's it's going to fit in the same space uh, as the original. We'll go ahead and swap over the gear to the new stepper motor. Just make sure that one of the set screws are lined up with the flat space on the, uh, the shaft of the driver. With our 1.5 millimeter driver, go ahead and snug the set screws uh, for the gear. Don't completely tighten them because we'll be adjusting them later. We can go ahead and take the new stepper and pop it in the bracket of the machine. Go ahead and before you put it in make sure you get the belt around the gear. It's kind of a pain to get it to pop back in but you know with a little patience you're able to do it just keep trying now we can go ahead and replace the two millimeter screws that hold in the stepper to the bracket The next thing we need to do is adjust the belt. We want to make it so our belts are flush with the bottom of the, the x-axis rail. There it looks pretty good, but coming on this other side where the gear is, you could see that it's extending past the bottom of the rail. Here you can see that it's 
clearly is below the bottom of the x-axis rail so we'll need to adjust the gear to bring it back up to flush to the bottom of that rail. Here I flipped it over and I'm using my finger to feel that the belt is flush so I'll keep checking with my finger just to make sure that it's flush with the rail um, and adjust the gear up and down. That's why we didn't snug the you know torque down those set screws for that gear so I'll just keep you know testing it and adjusting the gear until it's flush with the bottom of that rail now we can go ahead and plug the stepper motor back in with that the installation is complete now we just need to adjust some parameters in the software I'll be using laser gerbil to adjust these parameters I've tried light burn in the past but I found that they had incorrect uh, values for the parameters on some of the uh, you know the parameters within the machine settings so here I opened up the machine settings and I'm going through to find the x-axis steps here it's listed as x-axis travel resolution we'll be changing this from 100 which is the 1.8 degree stepper driver to 200 which is the 0 0.9 degree we can also adjust the current for that stepper it's set at 600 milliamp uh, i'm going to go ahead and leave this and test uh, with the default setting if i get missteps um, or skipping I'll go ahead and adjust this uh, higher. We'll go ahead and click right to save those settings that we changed. With that, you've completed the installation and update of the software to a 0 0.9 degree stepper motor. So I'll be testing this out just to see, you know, what kind of uh, resolution increase that uh, you know this this will create and if it's worth an upgrade the motor itself was pretty cheap probably like say 20 bucks so it was worth a shot anyways hope you learned a lot from this and thank you for watching